Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're talking all about Universal Orlando. Universal Orlando is a massive resort complex in, in Orlando, Florida, that is just to the south of Walt Disney World. It has three parks, Universal Studios Florida, Islands of, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay's Water Park. It has uh, another park under development, and we're going to talk about all about what's coming next to Universal Studios Orlando right now. In a previous video, I talked about what's coming next to Universal Studios Hollywood, and I'll link that one up to the top of this video if you want to see what's coming next here. But now, all about what's coming to Universal Orlando, the projects that we know of, and that is, uh, yeah, right now we're doing it. In, we'll do it in chron chronological order, starting with something that starts in about 11 days, or sorry, eight days from this recording. That's right, Minions, uh, VillainCon Minion Blast is a new attraction, a moving walkway attraction that is opening at Universal Studios Florida on, officially on August 11th. It is currently in technical rehearsals, aka soft openings right now, and has Passover, Passover previews next week, um, or this week, but its official opening is Friday, August 11th, 2023. This attraction is perfect for the children. It's a perfect complement to the new Minion Land and the Despicable Me Mayhem attraction right next to it. It's good because Universal Studios Florida is getting investment. Islands of Adventure got um, lots, a couple new coasters and other investments, and they're getting a rumored Zelda expansion um, coming in a few years. So let's see Universal Studios Florida getting some investment because they'll need it because they'll be the other two parks will be quite exciting in the coming years with Epic Universe and. Universal, uh, and, uh, Islands of Adventure. So, speaking of that investment that Universal Studios Florida is getting, they're not only getting Bill and Con and Minion Blast, which is opening this year, but next year, the revamped Kids Zone area is opening as a DreamWorks land. So, this is a whole DreamWorks area. They have been testing something like this already. Um, they kind of closed Kids, or they closed, uh, I think, like, the Barney Show, and they've been putting a massive DreamWorks meet, DreamWorks meet and greet there. It's been pretty popular with guests, including a Shrek meet and greet. And now, this whole area, the Kid Zone curse has been lifted, as they call it. Um, Kid Zone has had m many proposals, including Donkey Kong, or sorry, uh, Pokemon, and Super Nintendo World. But those have come and gone. And there's even a time where walls were up for a project, and then nothing happened, and the walls were taken back down. So the Kid Zone curse has finally been lifted. As things have been demolished in Kid Zone and is under active construction, and next year it'll reopen as a DreamWorks area, a DreamWorks land, which is great. It, this is now two things that Universal Studios Florida is adding for the children. Uh, Villain Con, by the way, has no height requirement. A lot of these things won't have any height requirements. Actually, there will be no new rides added to this, just really elaborate meet greets and theme areas. But like Shrek's hut will be added, and you can interact with Shrek and Donkey and Fiona and Puss in Boots and all those characters. And they'll have the uh, Poe meet and greet and the um, Mr. Ping's noodle shop like we have here in Hollywood during the Lunar, Year, Lunar New Year area sometimes. An interactive meet and greet and you can actually order noodles from his shop there. So they'll have a troller coaster and the roller coaster is already there just being rethemed. And it's basically kind of the almost the same exact layout as the like a... Uh, Toontown Coast, like Gadget's Go Coaster at Toontown here at Disneyland, if you're familiar with that. A small uh, Vacoma Kids Coaster, which is perfect, again, for the kids. as like a first coaster, especially at the more thrilling Universal Parks and Islands, Islands of Adventure next door. So um, that's rumored to be called the Troller Coaster at an area themed to Trolls. And the former play area will be th rethemed to Concrete Panda. And then in the front, you'll have Shrek's Hut, and that area will be a Shrek area, which will be great. More Shrek is fantastic, especially because they're getting getting rid of Far Far Away at Universal Studios Singapore. Um, currently for I believe Super Nintendo World and something else. Um, sucks because Far Far Away Land over there looked pretty cool. So yeah, that is going to be opening next summer or next year in 2024, likely in the early part of the year, definitely by summertime. And the last thing that's for sure coming to Universal Studios or Universal Orlando Resort is a brand new theme park. That's right. If you thought the other announcements were kind of meh of stuff coming to the parks before 2025 that's because this all the investments coming to this massive new third theme park here at universal orlando resort um called epic universe gonna be opening in summer 2025 that'll make universal orlando have three theme parks and one water park which is only one water park and one theme park behind walt disney world walt disney world has two water parks and four theme parks Although most of the time nowadays, only one water park is open. So 
Universal can be kind of be tied or is already kind of tied in that department for some reason. Disney doesn't want to open them both at the same time anymore. That was something that happened after COVID for some reason. But yeah, this new theme park will be massive. It will be Universal's largest park in the world. And it will have four themed areas themed to Super Nintendo World over here with the Mushroom Kingdom, Donkey Kong. Then it will be the uh, Harry Potter area, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter area themed to Wizarding World Paris with Fantastic Beasts. But also, um, you'll go back to the British uh, Ministry of Magic and the main attraction there. Then you'll have a How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke area, which looks gorgeous. And that's kind of the big fantasy land area, area for kids over there, but also teens. And not really for everyone, but really, that's really the kid-focused area of the park, of playgrounds and such. And you have a Classic Monsters, aka Dark Universe area. Plus, the hub itself will have a couple of rides as well. So, this should be a very, very fun park, and I will certainly be there on opening day, or at least opening week in 2025. And... For now, that is all that is confirmed for Universal Orlando uh, coming in the next few years, in the next two years by 2025. Again, the, there's rumors for other stuff like Legends of Zelda, which will be coming 2026 or later in Islands of Adventure. And I'm sure other stuff we don't even know about. I mean, a Harry Potter ride was supposed to come to the Fear Factor stage at Universal Studios Florida, but that, but that is still there and that Potter ride got canceled, so I'm sure... Something will be going up there. The Simpsons contract with Disney might expire but in 2028. So maybe that area gets rethemed to something else. So plenty of good stuff on the horizon for Universal Orlando. But the only things we have confirmed now are the Minion Blast opening on August 11th. DreamWorks Land coming in summer 2024. And then right after Epic Universe in 2025. So the, they got something to look forward to every single year at that park. Plus the recent, recent editions of Velocicoaster and Hagrid's. Universal Orlando is stacked, so the future of this resort is amazing. Again, check out the Universal Hollywood What's Next video if you want to see what's coming out over here on the West Coast. And let me know in the comments below, what is your most anticipated thing? Probably Epic Universe, but I guess <laughs> two questions. Out of Villain Con, Mini Blast, and DreamWorks Land, which one are you most looking forward to? And then out of Epic Universe, what is your favorite land? And then, by the way, you can see the latest construction update from Bio Reconstruct. Also, I'll put that video in the link above as well. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates and cool universal facts. And as always, have an epic day, everybody.